different there. Um, hex on pulse chain, right, is at point one three percent of a penny, uh, or sorry, one point three pennies. I guess is the best way to put it. It's right at resistance of where it basically crashed down to or from. Uh, from this little move to the downside here is basically just threading right around there. So it's trying to kind of find its fair value, which may be at kind of the current price. It might be kind of its equilibrium um, point because we know Bitcoin is at 30K, right? And that that's kind of its 6K area. So anywhere below there, and you know, that's like the, the buy opportunity of a dump. Anywhere above there, right? We start pumping, right? So I wouldn't say you would see uh, P hex here pumping until we got above two cents. Once we get above two cents, then this thing could run. Before that, it's just kind of chilling. Um, on E hex, right? Um, let me take that off there. So on E hex, right? Um, it's at eighty-seven percent of a penny, ninety percent of a penny. Um, probably just kind of wallows down in this region until Bitcoin really moves into that three of three. Once that happens then boom, you know, you start seeing uh, eHex maybe come back above uh, 1.3 uh, pennies, right? Once it gets past 1.3 and 1.4 pennies, then it could run up to maybe two and a half, three cents, right? Um, so that could do a run as well. If PX does a run, I would assume Hex would do a run as well along with it, just keeping a couple steps behind it in terms of price um, and then getting resistance at different areas on the chart based on... Um, you know, the chart here for EHEX uh, and being different here for PHEX, right? Because if PHEX gets above three cents, right, which would require EHEX probably to get up to uh, just about two and a half cents. So if EHEX, like if PHEX gets a lot of resistance there, sorry, e blah, blah, blah. if Ethereum HEX gets a lot of resistance at three cents, then what would you assume? You would assume that PHEX would go a little bit past it, maybe three and a half cents, and then maybe get some resistance there. Um, so that would be an area to try to find resistance on pulse chain hex that doesn't exist on uh, e hex uh, or vice versa. It's just kind of comparing the two charts to themselves. Now that's just a theory, right? And we kind of see how that theory plays out um, over uh, time, right? Because they are linked via sentiment and um, being the same ecosystem and the same coin in the ecosystem.